Don't worry, hello everyone. We're back here for another expert guide and setting up my bag here for hole number one. So you can see that, you know, I'm probably going to always go up this way to the uh, left hand side here in expert. And what I recommend for you guys is you know maybe a half decent wind resistance ball here you can see that i added a uh, bunny ball on and we're going to go with four wind resistance three power keeping that power up will be nice and what i'm going to try to do is just you know gently put it up there in the fairway maybe about two top spin and just let it kind of naturally run out it's kind of the plan that I have. So, you know, pretty much just normal, no power. Hit it up here and put it in, you know, good position. The number that I try to shoot for is in the 370s. And there's 377. It's going to probably put it, you know, very close to min club when you do that. So any farther than what I just hit, you're going to start to run into trouble. You might run through to the rough. Um, but with the extra wind resistance, you know, we'll be good to go. Um, that's one of the benefits of bringing the extra wind resistance ball is to make sure that you kind of stay in the 370s and make sure that uh, the drive stays shorter and you also have a little bit extra wind resistance for the second shot as well. Now, the closer you hit this to min club for a sniper, the easier it is to make. And here you can see this one rolls up through the rough. It's going to make things much more challenging when you get too aggressive here. So here you can see where I put it, and you can see where my B-52 is. Oh, wow. This is very close to being too far. It's very, very close. Just want to make sure wherever I set up that I still have... Here you can see what I'm doing. Um, in terms of a ring adjustment, I need to go slightly less than five here. So that's what you're going to see me do right here. You just get it on the front positioning just slightly. That's about 1.5 per ring. And you can see it comes in here really nice and just catches the hole. So you can see there that I was right at max yardage as to, you know, the shortest I could get away with that and playing that right at kind of 1.5 per ring almost had just a hair of curl because of the fact that my ball guide was kind of positioned on the left and I just wanted to kind of stay less aggressive just in case you know it carried a little long I wanted to make sure that it did not hit the rough but you can see with that uphill elevation you know 1.5 is virtually pretty you know 1.6 1.5 somewhere in there is going to be because I didn't even go five rings so that's what I've been doing with that uphill at min club and of course you know as I mentioned the closer you get to min club the easier that shots going to be but in the terms of what you just saw me do um, and keep in mind you know the difference between Kingmaker and bunny ball in that situation probably is what helped me to make it I would have had an extra almost mile per hour wind that I would have had to play there uh, which could have been the difference between, you know, making me mess up to not being able to get it. So in any regard, you know, good luck with that hole, guys. I, I really don't think that there's any other way at the expert level that you should be playing this hole. Um, you know, there's probably potential to blow it down there with snow globes. But, um, you know, as easy as that sets up in the fairway, uh, that's really what I recommend. Because even if you do try to bomb it down there, you'll probably be in the rough up by the green somewhere, probably about 40 yards, give or take, on average. And that's going to be, you know, your average case. So if you're doing that on average, you know, how much are you going to make, you know, kind of a mid-level, especially with all that elevation change and weird hills up by the green. It's just going to make things really, really challenging for you on average, on the average case. So this is what I kind of recommend for you guys, and good luck with that. I'll catch you guys for hole two coming up.